Hi there, welcome to this little video channel update, I guess we'd call it. I've had some ideas recently, some popping back up into my head, and then other outside ones, new ideas which have not been done before but have been requested here and there. I think that still needs to be looked into in whichever format or shape. But, you know, reflecting back on last month or two, it's been so so. I think more so in recent time the the focus and noise has shifted away from particular cases right whereas we've had the explosive and unfortunate outcome of christine Percy parker some have been somewhat neglected but not not completely down to uh what would you call it choice it more so down to what's available at that moment in time i think moments if you recharge or you space distance yourself, new ideas can come along the way or you can reflect back on previous things and add on from it. And I feel that's the case with Dylan Rounds. And there's some other factors as well. There's about two to three videos that I could cover. Um, one of which, my interest for the case, give a bit more backstory behind that. Any reasonings behind why. Number two, video that can be considered I guess looking at certain double standards or you know the lose-lose situation behind how you can appear like this when you're within the case whether you're a key suspect or not and how it can come off as something else and like no matter what you do you can't win we can reflect on that because it's not really been mentioned much I don't think um if there's any other additional points that need to be reiter reiterated from the messenger how they appear and disappear and hover about elsewhere, we can possibly look at that. The third video can be taking in mind Badger Life. I believe it's from your point of view, Badger, or it could be someone else skeptical, can't quite remember. The concept of desecration with Dylan Rounds on site and within the environment, certain resources, chemicals present. Um, it'd be much appreciated, Badger. Um, you don't have to, because I can do a video anyway, but if it could be added in. Whoever it came from, and I think it's Badger, feel free to give, you know, your thoughts, your explanation behind it, or how you came to that conclusion, you know? That'd be much appreciated if you can leave it down below in the comment section here. I'll be able to read it out, and it might provide a bit more of a backstory or a better understanding behind that chain of thoughts for everyone else and it will also help complement the video itself so if that can be done that would be good the dylan rounds case is obviously still ongoing and unfortunately it's just not as popular anymore um and there's not as much coverage anymore if not none we had the odd bit by profiling evil but the last one was a little bit underwhelming wasn't it did an analysis of it, but it was kind of underwhelming. There was never that follow-up Q&A either to do with the case. So I'm not quite sure um, what will happen next. We heard about Dr. Phil. Is it this week? Um, you know, people out there, more so in the US, because you may have access to Dr. Phil if it's on normal TV. Let me know if you watched the one with Candice Cooley, the show. How did it go? What was it like? And if there's any way of being able to watch it, but not upload to YouTube, just watch it and then make notes, analyze and go from there, that would be interesting. I know sometimes people will upload videos, re-upload it elsewhere, but it might only be limited for a certain amount of time before copyright takes over and takes it down. So it'll be interesting to see if the Dr. Phil episode is publicly viewable and accessible as well. If, it, if there's a way around it by watching and taking it in. Uh, so Dylan Rounds, yeah. The other factor, and there's actually a couple to be honest, tying in with reflecting back on things, on humans. Judgment Day is needed. The crows have scattered and swarmed, come together. There needs to be levels of consequences for people out there, right? 
It's not the classroom mentality of where one person messes up and then everyone else suffers because with my update of today, it's in the interest of majority of viewers, preferably those 2022 onwards, regulars and key people that have supported this channel. So, you know, there's no impact there. But as for the slime, as for the diseases that have taken place and scattered around, consequences for them. The other factor, I'd say, has to be some whiny, screeching tone from somewhere, like a wailing banshee. The thing is, what humans want is a war. Yeah, that's my middle name. Is it a good idea? I don't think so. It's not necessary. I think what's more than necessary and needed is coverage on something that hasn't been covered much at all since. You get some references elsewhere in YouTube chat, but it doesn't really go any further than that. And it's the same old face as well with the same old message. Where's that consistency? Where's that frequency? Where's those individual chain of thoughts in connection with one another, but thinking for themselves? I don't see that as a problem. I've noticed there's been a range of dogs, dogged nature, barking, didactic tactics towards me? No. I think what some humans forget is that when you rewind it back to 2020 onwards, things were how they were. 2022, things drastically changed, more so in the approach and dealing with opposition. I think people from before 2022, some don't quite grasp the adaptation. So they stick with the same attitude. Doesn't quite connect with the new look of one. With the lack of alignment means dysfunction. When there's dysfunction, there can be chaos. It can all crumble. But this is the thing, as it always separates one from the pack, from one, the masses, the sheeple, is that elsewhere when things collide, crash and burn, it all implodes on itself like a demolition project. But here the structures themselves, concrete, solid. It's just the small fibers within that may break and snap. That's unfortunate. It's not my problem then. The original foundations and methods induced are under control. The add-ons along the way from further afar or not. They've got a mind of their own, right? So when those fibers snap, crackle or pop, it happens, that's it. There's a range of things that can be acknowledged, but it depends how you go about it, right? And I think the way others go about things isn't always the correct approach, right? Whether it be how they speak on behalf of somebody or talk about an individual. I said, if we, if we spin it back to the beginning of the attitude, the direction, the orders, dogged nature of beings, orders sent out like a commander, Who's the commander? It appears that they are. They seem to be the one in charge of the whole battalion squad. Deploying, ordering. I think the roles have been mixed up with time. There's definitely a disconnect with humans out there. And maybe people are in a parallel universe from 2020 up to 2022. The carry-on-over 
How's that gone? If I be honest with you, quite a surprise in a positive direction. From 2022, 23 into 24, and returning back to a very familiar case, there wasn't much darkness that followed. And this is one of the key turning points to take in mind, right? Whilst initially what I once covered and what I moved on to, it did not attract much bad blood. It didn't linger. There was no diseases attached to me, no tumours connected. That was all disconnected with time. Though returning back, it all kicked off once again. Huh. But, with those that have crossed over and now appeared here, consistency in behaviour, attitude, personality, that's good. We've seen, though, the odd individual, an individual that goes through many, 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 many usernames, changes in behavioural patterns, changes in attitude, in some way barking orders, but from a different community of where they originated. Why the change? The individual not present much, and yet they say this or say that which I've already mentioned or covered. If you watched, you wouldn't be questioning one or this or that. The point of move on, do something else. Hmm, haven't I already shown that? Though if one's not present, they're not gonna know. As said, if people's own doing where some can get confused and others can get frustrated. Before that erupts like a volcano, just think before you speak. Hmm, recent time, attitudes definitely shifting. The odd known individual, the rest unknown. See, depending what you cover and the themes, one other interesting backstory with shorts, the themes and topics, sport related, entertainment, it, it doesn't really have a negative correlation to the normal videos. Very interesting. It's one and done. People come, people go. That's the thing. There are some other key points to mention. I shall explain very shortly. I just want to round it off with attitude and approach. Attitudes and approaches can change with time within humans, can shift through sand and time. Those grains stick around. The other stuff can be filtered through. But once the grains show rough and rugged, you see people's true nature. Is it as natural as what they claim to be? Maybe not. Hmm. The direction. Ultimately, the direction comes or splits two ways. The audience, what they see, what they look, what they go for. And then the other, the one that decides where one goes next. As said, there's some videos in the background that need to be covered, looked into, of course. Of course, research must follow too for it to work. But I'm sure to make, I'm sure that by making a certain style of coverage, lighter and easier and uh, more recognisable, you know. When people to suggest another case, if it's covered in the same format as previous ones, it should be easier to understand and more enjoyable. And of course, easier for me for the right reasons. I'll take that in consideration, such as a jungle in particular, right? Um, there was another one. Ryan Garcia. That's a little bit all over the place, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't aboard the train. I didn't jump on early to notice it all. 
I just saw the odd post here and there and I understand it could be serious, but I've not really gone down that route before. In terms of the darkness, the, the Skull and Bones Club, uh, was it Bohemian Grove? I've looked at some videos in the past, some supposed leak footage which was just uploaded to YouTube about them. It might have been by Dark Matter, I believe. Sacrifices in the woodlands, the owl statue, I believe. Clinton making appearances there. A range of dark stuff, of course, but information and research is necessary. Um, as you know, the format and structure to different cases and approaches there tends to be different to everyone else. Everyone else, well, not everyone, but most, will tell the story from start to finish. I, I tend to briefly take it in mind, the overall aim and outcome, but border on to what happened next, right? And go further there. And if I've ever got confused or reached a dead end, then I look back. I do it in a slightly different order. It seems to work here. So, of course, those things taken into consideration, there have been some outside videos that have been done, such as, I think it was Antarctica, secret base or cave. Very interesting. And more like that can be done with time, of course. But there needs to be a positive reception too. It is a positive reception, there's a right direction. Though what happens if there is a negative reception immediately? It depends how consistent that is. If it's a negative reception consistently, but the statistics remain high in the right direction, you keep that up. If you notice numbers dwindle, interest declines, obviously that's not a good look. There are different factors and components you can take in mind when covering a case or a mystery, an event, any topic out there if you engage on YouTube. First of all, you've got to like it, find it interesting, enjoy it, so you do the best you can. And then what comes with that is an equal measure to the audience, they think or feel the same way. And then if statistically it shows two, you've ticked all the boxes, you move forwards. I'd say recent time reflecting back, certain boxes have been ticked. Others may have been crossed. How unfortunate. Momentum was gained. Momentum was lost. Short little burst. Not consistent enough to initiate a clear directive. Hence, Idaho 4, as some of you will know. I wonder what the next big case will be. I don't just jump onto the next big thing just for the sake of it. There has to be a level of interest, first of all, so it's natural. Dylan Round's case, and I said I'll go in further depth next time round. Was it the next big thing? Not really but it was fresh at the time. And those that were engaged with it, with the original audience on my channel, I guess from 2020 up to 2022, just before July. Extremely interesting that. So that's how the recommendations and the consistency showed, but in a different order. There was interest and intrigue from others, the viewers towards something else, which then I looked into then I became interested. Different order, same result. So that's good. What's the current state though of what one is covering right now? Is the momentum? So, so. Is a consistency? Yes. Has there been a downfall? Yes. I'm sure I can refer to that later though because i want to refer back to a different form of darkness in the theme of shout outs often in the past it never happened i guess there was no reason to but depending who you come across or who comes across you then things happen of course some mindless stuff in the background and little recommendations no worries but then, of course, 
a couple of shout outs unnecessary what's my thoughts what were other people's ignore that set as people should know there is a formal procedure here in which when I do respond it might be only once or twice and if some haven't got the point or got it drilled through their skull, well then lost cause. That's exactly what happened here. Every prediction that I made was true. The last predictions that I made were extremely pinpoint accurate. What would happen though if I did take action now? Well, it would go round in circles exactly how it does with others out there. Hamsters all around, further afar. But the cats remain here. Hopefully those cats aren't hungry, because those hamsters might struggle. Is it a form of natural selection? Yeah. Natural selection in mindset and adaptation, which some de-evolved humans have demonstrated. Backwards evolution, clearly showing. Now, some ideas were presence of beings out there is as a result because they want to grow themselves. I'll tell you something, nine times out of ten, if not ten times out of ten, any time I have reacted to something, it's not led in others gaining. It didn't happen. There may have been consequences along the way, and so there should be. So I think that's what people seem to forget. It's a range with weak mentalities, specifically with YouTube on the platform, and that needs to be acknowledged very shortly. But as for this action taking place, trying to reach out to me, but not for the natural or positive reasons, Psychological warfare, not going to work, right? As I've said before, tactics of creating an endless cycle, not going to work. You'll have to look to the other people which you were with at some point and probably still are now. And we've seen alliances and things breaking down and forming again on and on and on. I'm sure they can rely on their own cesspit of diseases to work from and construct a new formula, right? Not with me. And it all with, it does link back, actually. Besides the mentions, it's the pulling out, right? When to go, when to move, when to create the next decision. It's worked. It hasn't for others. Pulling out of one case or another hasn't really led to much negatives happening. Short burst, maybe, but that was mainly it. Other people try and pull out, they get dragged back in, they can't escape. And some don't want to escape, even if they do complain a lot. These kind of like streamers, they're going about the working hours and how it's so hard and difficult, but they are gaining and benefiting in other ways. And there are positives to take from what they do. So all the times they complain, secretly in a subconscious mind, they're perfectly fine with what they're doing, right? It was their choice to do that. Just like how it's people's choices at times to get involved in sticky situations, right? The mentality though of, well, this is happening because of this and that and they want that, like they want you, is that Sam? What if negotiations could, could take place? Isn't that not a possibility? You know, sometimes I think the weak-minded mindset is just sit back, never mind, let it happen. Pathetic. At times, consequences are needed. People need to be fed. People need to be met with them, right? With with the actions. Because look, the way I see it, if I have made a mistake or things have gone wrong or whatever in life, there's been consequences, very small scale because of small scale actions, but it's happened. So why should other people be let off the hook, I wonder, right? So 
depending where you are, and even depending on the platform, people should be punished, people should suffer. That's the way I think about it, okay? I think person's actions, if they're negative, should be met with consequences of equal measure for that balance. If an individual was to just simply make a slight negative joke about somebody or a slight insult, I don't think they should be met with a disease or illness that kills them off in the future. That seems a bit far-fetched, right? But something of equal measure to that. It can apply small scale and large scale. See, what a range of people tend to do, tying it back with the attitude the dogged, didactic nature of people out there by highlighting what you should and shouldn't do. All those directives ordered from the mouths of those that have not been for it themselves. They have no place or right to talk, in a sense. But of course, free speech here. Something better than nothing, right? How often do I come across creators and others experienced that come out with that not as much not many people do one individual though with 400 plus thousand subscribers 50 or close to 50 million total channel views just simply said when you grow when you get big you become a target things happen just pointing out the obvious not about cowering away, not about backing down, not about being too submissive. It wasn't quite of that. The people that encourage submissiveness tend to be viewers from time to time and outsiders that don't know this channel, that don't know the structure, the formula, the standards, and they haven't gone for it themselves. If you're not a content creator, you're not going to understand the problem and the severity of it, right? But one key standout point, some from the Dylan Rounds community that have stuck around till this day understand the seriousness of situations and why it's valid for a particular response at times. And those people aren't creators. So there are a special breed of people right? You could call it common sense, but it might come across as special these days because humans lack it out there. Yes, you get a range of people that may go to a university and get their degrees, diplomas and all that. You know, you look at it on paper, they look very good. But how they perform or the experience they have is lacking and disappointing. Look at true crime, okay? Yeah, you get some established people and others, part-timers, whatever. But what they do is similar to what I do. Maybe in a different female format, but the depth, analytical skills, it's there. There's a crossover. What's the difference though? That they, oh, they've got a degree in this. They've got a degree in that. Good for you on paper. So you went from, what, a degree to YouTube, you don't need a degree to do YouTube. All you need is a bit of common sense, maybe a form of creativity and the right topic. And as well, look. It's look-based orientated for most part of it, okay? Random things happen. BS happens. Good, bad, it's mixed. So I just find it funny how these other creators out there the way they've got to list their accolades and, you know, their achievements on YouTube. Okay, if it's LinkedIn, if it's some kind of public formal profile to advertise yourself, yeah, but YouTube, all those bullet points? When, you know, your videos consist of sat there, maybe with crooked glasses or whatever, looking slightly confused, perplexed into the screen and reacting to someone else's video or a court trial, Wow, that definitely takes a degree. But besides that, the degree and angle of humans, it varies, doesn't it? But I think there's been a rough patch. I think some have got stuck in the mud since. 
And to be honest, you could use the whip to punish people. You could use the whip to save people and pull them out. But the bad news is the whip, I can't find it. Even the whip has walked away. It shows how bad the situations must be, right, in general. Can my predictions of now save me in the future? There's always that possibility. Can it save others? I guess so. Can it save communities, cases and cycles? No. That can't be fixed. When the same roam about. So besides the directions and the orders of what I should and shouldn't do, coming from people who may not contribute to the case or may just simply not be in the same position as like a creator, but have that entitlement and that slightly negative attitude and bite and bark and edge of a sword to their tone. What does it pierce through? Not much. But if there's a mirror showing, it will reflect their true self, but it doesn't always show immediately, does it? It happens with time and with time I see the patterns and with those patterns, I kind of know what to expect next. So when people think they're two steps ahead, I'm 69 steps ahead, forwards and backwards. That's the mindset matrix, broke back mentality there. Watch your crazy, will know exactly what I'm referring to. So with that being said, we talk about attitudes, we talk about shout outs, we talk about how one should respond and when not and when is the right time. The right time is the fact that a channel is still around breathing and still creating. Others can't do that. Some are shut down. But they thought that their ideas, their methods were the right way. Look how they turned out. And when others do their own thing or pull away, branch off, look at how they turn out. So whilst one can receive all the criticism and all the directions and the demands... So much going on, so much noise being emitted. This is the one place where there is stability. Through the cracks and the crevices, maybe not. As said, the fibre's breaking down. But that's not like DNA strands connected to me, though. They're individual, individual cells. Do they mutate? I think so. I think they are. One second, I require some water to moisten my throat. Last night, it was apparent that one required water. Wasn't able to create the same sounds. For context, you can check that out if you want. If it doesn't quite make sense, okay? For such a slow-paced video, the time hasn't moved much. It's almost like standing still right now. Besides me, you wouldn't really know if things are moving or not, considering how still the camera, the screen, the background is. But the stillness is a bit of stability, and I think that's needed right now, don't you think? I mean, people need to slow down with their thoughts and ideas before any more trouble or damage is caused, right? So I think one thing to highlight Besides Dylan Rounds this and that, what about Kenny Veach? What about the last video? Well, I think humans have already failed to understand what live premieres are and thumbnails. And linking back to the attitude, because it always ties back to that, the demand to know, the demand to need, the demand for answers before the video has started. Do you not understand how live premieres work? right? Take in mind what I'm saying and what I'm addressing may not reach out to those direct people because they may not be watching right now, but I'm still talking. Maybe with time, the messages will pass on. But as I was saying with live premieres, right? There's a countdown when it's initiated, when it's scheduled. The thumbnail, what you see on screen is the thumbnail of the video. It may be revealing or not. It could be cryptic. To be demanding answers before the video has started is quite an impetuous, low attention span mentality to have. Sit, wait and watch. Simple as that. 
my response will become more sharper when I'm dealing with blades at my throat, regardless of what type it is, okay? When there is cancer present, I will treat it as if they're my patient, simple as. If people want to be demanding, right, and forceful, they will receive a blunt force response. So wording and language and the tone, the way it's delivered, will vary depending on the situation and the person at hand or people, okay? It's like those in the background that want to complain but keep on going round and round and stick about, they're a statistic, that's it, okay? Those that want to demand this and demand that, as if they are in control, no. You're not in control, you're not even in control of your own thoughts, involuntary movement and behaviour mannerisms, not quite of oneself. But then with time, some like radiation being emitted or some kind of injection being induced into their bloodstream, which then reveals a reaction, a chemical reaction. Maybe that's what my videos do. They trigger a chemical reaction in human cells, which then mutate and then you see a mutation of them. I mean, that's probably the best way of looking at it forwards. So if you want to use some medical terms, there you go. There's a couple there at hand. But yeah, live premieres, people understand them from 2022 onwards, but different community, right? Those from 2020 up to 22, not used to it. So... Once again, a disconnect, a change, a shift in structure, a change and shift in how videos are presented. But arguably, them live premieres did exist here and there in 2021. People seem to forget that. So it's once again, another, not me problem, but more them. Again, live premieres are perfect. They don't need to change. Live premieres are not true live streams. Let's make that very clear. But they still have a live interaction and reaction, which is most important. So besides shorts being beneficial, live premieres are also very handy, of course. Live streams are more risky because anything can happen in life around you or online. And at that moment, it will be recorded, it will be documented, and you won't be able to erase that from people's memory. So if you're going live, you better not mess up and keep your fingers crossed nothing goes wrong around you. Sometimes it can be funny, other times it can be serious. And once again, people wouldn't understand that if they're not a creator, right? I think the live panels and shows are also very risky too with how others have invited people up, been deceived and been punished for that. It will not happen here. It hasn't happened. It will never happen because I don't do that structure. But in my own ways and methods, there still comes critiques made by people who just don't understand. And you would have thought by now people would have learned. No. Disappointing to see. You could arguably say, not a surprise. Live premieres and the thumbnails. At points I've thought, you know what, should I blur it out? Should I change the thumbnail before the final product? Because there's that possibility that if people see the thumbnail, it will just basically explain it in a matter of seconds and then people just will click off and not watch it at all. That did run through my mind at some points, but then I, I realised how many people are actually waiting for that premiere. Not many. What tends to happen is one person will be waiting for the premiere, and then once it counts down and it begins the video, that's when people join. So not really missing out too much there. But I think where there's not a disconnect, well, there is a disconnect in understanding, but what blinds people's perception 
what blinds people in general with a particular case here and there is the passion behind it. Sometimes people's passion and their emotions take over themselves and their decision making and how they word things, which mean either they make an idiot of themselves or they just cause unnecessary drama and conflict, small scale or big scale. That's why I said, I've got to slow down at times. I would have responded back to the odd comment here and there a bit too quickly and it was out of context with what was first presented and then explained later. So corrections needed to be made, right? I think that can happen with the scale of the live premieres. As said, the video should explain. If people comment before the video, well, you're not gonna have the answers until you've watched the video. I'm not trying to sound sarcastic there. I'm just making a valid observational point. To learn about something, you might have to watch it or read, let's say a book or an article. You can't just like scan the title and say, why have you not mentioned this? Why have you not mentioned that? There's a possibility it has been, but down below under the title, under the subheading, under the caption, under the photo, if you're not willing to look, well, lost cause. I said, you need to put in a little bit of time and effort in picking out who is a lost cause. Not to punish them, but just to know. So then you don't have to explain yourself again and again and again. Wouldn't that apply here though? No, because I'm not directly doing a case study on anyone. And this video is of a greater scale and depth at the different points mentioned besides this channel update, which is more important, that theme. There's connections, connectives that can be added on, of course. So, besides the last video and the last couple, what about the community? I'd say the community is at an all-time low, at a worse than it's ever been before. Take in mind that at the beginning, it wasn't that bad. And how it is now, it's back to square one. So how's it that bad, if it wasn't that bad to begin with? Well, it's reverted back to the beginning, of course, but then you throw in the returns of resistance, unnecessary. You throw in the complete uncertainty, lack of stability, demands and orders of what should be done and shouldn't be done, who you should listen to and who you shouldn't, what you should cover and what you shouldn't. Lack of trust within one another, Background talk, background chat, a complete mess, right? So as in how it was originally, the people are present, but what's got worse, what's gone below that level, that standard, is the lack of trust, right? The lack of stability, the lack of common sense. That's a problem. I see it, I sensed it, it happened. Can it be fixed? I can't fix them. People have to fix themselves. But what I can do then is do things in a certain order and cover stuff bit by bit, close or from afar, depending the case. I'd say that's fine. You could say that hmm, if the storm has shifted elsewhere, return back to the quiet spot. If it comes back, you just switch and change, interchange with one another. I think that's probably the best approach. And I say probably the storm and the clouds are currently present. Quite literally, the clouds are present around me. I guess it's a sign. No, we don't need to get the Bibles out. We don't need any of that. Let's use some common sense and awareness. That's more than enough. So, the Dylan Rounds community is non-existent, arguably speaking, because it's just not being covered much now. And it's understandable as to why. But possibly, if I look back at it, 
something could happen. I believe the last video that I did nearly got 1,000 views, which is quite shocking considering it didn't do that well 2023 onwards, but just recently, a little bit more energy reintroduced, which is good to see. Maybe that can happen again. Is there a level of division between people from the true crime community that came onto my channel and then have come into the mystery community from pre-existing people? No, not at all. Not that I'm aware of, it's, it's good. But there are some inside interconnecting intersectional divisions within, within the original community. If it's already dysfunctional, it might not get any better. But considering that there are others that have come in recent time from an even more dysfunctional environment, and they may have been subjected to suffering and potential torture of a varying degree, they came out okay. But elsewhere, people have come out worse for wear and have not been subjected to the same damage. It's interesting. I mean, I said, arguably, I'm probably the most attacked individual on YouTube for the topics and themes that I cover. I'm definitely the most attacked person. I mean, look at how I've come out of it. I've not come out because there is no escape. But there is no change either. Now, it's easy for me to say, of course, the general public... Their observations and opinions matter more there. That's why it's most important to reduce the biasness, the biased effect. But at least from what some old, old time viewers have said, keep it up, keep it up, keep doing what you're doing. That's positive. It shows whatever one is doing is in the right direction, doing the right thing. And after everything that's happened and all the BS, there's just not been much change. And yet other people that may have gone through stuff, they have changed. And some who have gone through nothing have changed. It really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? So, shifts can occur. But if it's not on uncharted territory, there won't be much problems or uncertainty. Now, of course, you move elsewhere or shift back and forth. You can always be welcomed with a... Almost welcomed with a brick wall, depending who is lurking over in a different direction. If I said elsewhere with shark infested waters, imagine returning back. You're going to get bit. Is the boat going to capside? There's always that chance. I know what seems to be the case, the, the recurring theme is no matter where I go, wherever I return to somewhere, that's where the resistance begins, right? And then the second wave is when you stick around a bit longer, establish that consistency, that's the second wave, right? But I think one key pattern to acknowledge, because it happened originally in Dylan Brown's case community, it's now happened here, such as the Kenny Beach case community, mystery community. Warlike Wrath once again from the perception of others out there, outsiders, Warlight Wrath is visualized as the black sheep once again. It happened in the Dylan Rounds case, as you saw, with the whole Bob Farrell debacle and some of the viewers on my channel branching away and showing their true self and the hypocrisy behind it all is where it really kicked in, right? Idiot humans, of course, and they're still out there, but over in that direction in their YouTube streets. Away from the Dylan Rounds case, thankfully, but, you know, they're all there. But I'd say right now, it's turning into a black sheep situation again. I will be treated as the black sheep because I'm the most consistent individual. And what seems to be the case, if you want to be consistent, you're punished for it. If you want to be frequent, you're punished for it. If you want to display depth you're punished for it. You want to improve or progress, you're punished for it. That's my reality. I saw an interesting comment in recent time by someone basically saying how this is very perplexing, you know, it's baffling what's going on. 
my reality is baffling with the humans I come across in life, in real life as well. Baffling. Pathetic. Okay? But it's happened, and it will happen. Besides that, is there any treatment? No. What about from the doctor himself? Well, the doctor himself, you've had doctor feel good, doctor I will fix it, doctor there appears to be a malignant tumour within you, I don't think it's going to go away. What next? Unless you stitch it all together like a microcosm of a procedure. And then what will you get? What creation will you form? It might show at some point, it might show. So besides that, priority can be based off consequences. A shift can be based off consequences. I mean, realistically, you take one thing away, which everybody critiques. And when I say everybody, I mean everyone of a whiny tone. What did they have? Nothing left to critique. You hear that? Silence. Hmm. But in that process, once that realisation kicks in, they suffer. Oh, we've got no more. We've got no more food. The cell's going to die. Oh, that's a shame. Should have thought about it at the time before you made a prat of yourself. Hmm. Anyway, predictions for the future. Are there any right now? Well, predictions are... Warlike, the black sheep wrath will eventually fade out. That that perception, it will fade out. It comes in and out into changes, like with the Dylan Rounds case. Normal, then treated as a black sheep, attacked for it, and then went back to normal. It comes in waves. With the Dylan Rounds case and community being somewhat quiet at this moment, if in the future things come about, right, and there is changes, there is breaking news, and if the people from the YouTube streets get involved, and then the rest follow like sheep, it's going to be a disaster. It's going to be the beginning all over again, a complete mess. So you better brace yourself, strap yourself in for pure chaos, okay? It's going to be a disaster. That's what I think. If the people go in that direction, the rest will follow most likely. Does it have to be a particular channel from the YouTube streets? No. No. It could be soggy people. It could be broke back people. It could be the undead and their wretched stench that follows behind them. Whichever group or cell moves to the Dylan Rounds case, the rest will follow because they all seem to rely on one another. So if one pulls away, the rest will go in that direction as well. Okay. The the original situation with Dylan Rounds, how people gathered in the first place, I'm not quite aware of. If anyone wants to provide a brief history behind that, right? So all the characters, what we know of now or heard of from the past and how it all went downhill eventually. At first it seemed okay, but why did they all gather together in the first place? Did some know one another beforehand or not? That's what I'm not quite familiar with. But with all the uh, introductions out of the way there, people will be familiar with themselves so and one another. So do you think when the Dylan Rounds case, the trials with Brenner, if at any point they do go underway or if breaking news comes out in between and it's worthy enough to attract someone from the YouTube streets, the rest will follow and you'll see it all over again, a mess, right? I can highlight the potential hypocrisy or double standard lose-lose situations next time round with the Dylan Rounds video, right? But for now, I just wanted to do this. This video was going to be five minutes. It slightly extended just because with the flow and what was being talked about, I thought, why not? Okay, we've got a pond full of frogs. Are the eggs shown yet? No. But they may follow afterwards. Let's hope they don't mutate.
And again, as for the people that do come along out of context for some videos who maintain a stable attitude or just simply confused, that's good to see. The rest creeped out. Here's what it is. It said, methods, precautions, abstract art. I think some forget that. Regulars there, supporters on his channel, do remember abstract art. That's the response you should say whenever anyone questions you. It's simply abstract art. That's all. That's all. So, I think predictions out of the way and everything addressed. Some updates. Now, yes, I did ask for possible suggestions. Um, there wasn't any previously. I thought of my own ideas now. I can introduce them into videos very shortly. Which will then recharge the batteries for the other case. So then going hard on that. Especially with the documentary. Especially with the, the alternative theory and groundbreaking stuff. That can all be addressed. But there is a time. There is a place. Not really going anywhere in between. So it'll be fine. A key turning point like this can be a defining moment which may show if people pull or tug and if they do, well, I wouldn't be surprised as to who they are, okay? So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Of course, feel free, or if you had done, share your thoughts in the chat or the comment section down below. Down below, you'll find a pinned comment by me with some additional links if you want to support this channel in one way or another. And if you just simply want to catch up on the previous videos, top right corner of the screen, you click on that I symbol, you'll be redirected to things you can catch up on. Uh, feel free to watch them in your own time. So that's it for now. See you next time. Goodbye. Good night.